Yo, what is going on? Welcome to another Beyond Plug and Play video. It is May 29th. I am your host, Logic Motion, and today we have some gaming news. So let's get into it. Okay, so big gaming news coming out. Xbox app confirms Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is coming day one to Game Pass. Update, Microsoft has officially announced Black Ops 6 Game Pass launch plans. Okay, so Call of Duty coming to Game Pass is just huge news because if you pay attention to this article that came out last year in 2023, it says in 2021, more than a million PlayStation players only played Call of Duty and 6 million spent 70% of their time with Call of Duty. The reason this is a big deal is because Call of Duty is the game people play the most on PlayStation or majority of, right? So a lot of people are using their PlayStation literally to just play Call of Duty, right? So now Xbox has a opportunity to maybe grab some of that player base for putting Call of Duty on Game Pass. I think this is what the uh, Jim Ryan was scared of is Call of Duty going on Game Pass, them able to kind of pressure or uh, pull over an audience from uh, PlayStation. And you got to think too, like the first 14 days of uh, Game Pass, you can get that for $1, right? And then on PC, it is, uh, it's $10 a month. And then if you want to get the ultimate plan, it's like $16 a month. And if it's your first, like first time buying it, it's, you know, $1, right? For the first uh, two weeks on console, it's $10 a month. Like it's, it's a really good deal. I feel like it will push a lot of people over to Xbox. Obviously, like people that are already on PlayStation, they're already on PlayStation, so they might not see it as a reason to go over yet. But I think this is a uh, this is huge. Just being able to have Call of Duty so accessible at such a low price, right? And you're you're probably if you're on Xbox, you're probably already p paying for Game Pass. But this could if you're if you're not an Xbox guy, you don't have one, or you're a PC guy, you're like, well, hold up. Like, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna pay 70 bucks for the newest Call of Duty, and then they just release another one, right? So Game Pass might be that incentive for the PC player or even the console player. But uh, I think it's, it's a good deal. It might push Xbox to be just a little bit more competitive just because there are a lot of players that only play Call of Duty, right? And if they can grab that audience, um, they might be able to make something happen. I don't think the change is going to be drastic. Like we're not going to see Xbox put, you know, uh, Call of Duty on Game Pass. And then like the next day, like everyone starts switching over. No, it's going to be like over the course of years. And are they going to do it with like the next Call of Duty? Is it only going to be this Call of Duty? Are they planning on releasing this Call of Duty and kind of letting it sit? Or are they still doing the yearly model? Um, I feel like they need to just let it sit in the oven, let it bake, like let it cook, right? You don't have to release one every year. It's still going to be popular, but uh, I don't know the strategy behind it. But I do know that putting Call of Duty on Game Pass will definitely get some people back on Xbox. It will definitely get people on Game Pass just because it like, like just what this article says, more than a million PlayStation players only play Call of Duty. Six million spent 70% of their time with Call of Duty, right? So if, if this number is true, that means a good portion of players are probably going to look at this and be like, hmm, that's a that's a good deal. Maybe it's time for me to get an Xbox. Right. And it, it won't be immediate. Some players, they might already even have an Xbox. Right. And they might just be like, oh, well, I'm just going to switch over. But there could be a multitude of reasons people don't switch over. Some people might like the DualSense controller, uh, you know, stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure there's adapters out there where people could make it to where you can use the DualSense on the Xbox. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I haven't looked it up, but. There's a lot of adapters out there, but yeah, this is a, uh, this is good. It will just make Xbox more competitive. Maybe they can stop closing down studios. There's a bunch of good that could come out of this. There's, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I want to see them be more competitive. I want to see them put out more stuff. Uh, and this, this is a step in the right direction, I think. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with it. Time for our next story, which is valve confirms your steam account cannot be transferred to anyone after you die. So, I mean, this is kind of expected like you know what it what did we really think was gonna happen right and this is probably gonna be the case for all like major platforms this, this is gonna be the case for like nintendo it's gonna be the case for playstation it's gonna be the case for xbox like i don't really think any of uh any of these company companies are obligated to give us uh like 
digital lifelong games or whatever that can be transferred. Obviously, it makes sense, though, right? You buy something, you should be able to keep it forever. But that's it's 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 just not the case. Uh, it's probably in the EULA. I don't know for sure, but um, I think there would have to be a serious long court case over if we could transfer our Steam accounts, right? And there, I mean, there's a, <laughs> even on my Steam account, there's so much put into it, right? There's so much money put into it that, you know, you kind of do want to, you know, it's, it's got to, you, you know, you want to pass it on and, you know, it sucks. You probably drop like, you know, over a lifetime, you probably drop like 3,000, 4,000, maybe even more than that on your PC library. And then, you know, you die, poof, boom, it's gone, right? Um, obviously, I don't, I think as of now, if you were to just drop dead and you like have all your stuff saved somewhere for your like kid or you know next of kin sibling some whatever to uh use your account i don't think they would really be able to find you right but like you know if you're <laughs> if your steam account is like 150 years old right they're gonna they're gonna start getting suspicious hmm you know like are you still <laughs> are you you still kicking you still here there's no there's no way right so i don't think this is something we will run into now but this is definitely going to be an issue in the future and i like i don't even know if i'll be i like i won't i won't be here <laughs> to even know right it's such a this is a crazy situation but like yeah when your account hits like you know 180 years like i feel like 80 years they probably won't shut it down but like once you hit like 125 150 right they might just like lock your account like it might just be like boom like there's no way you're still there's no way you're still kicking right so uh, it's unfortunate, but it's it's to be expected. And I like I said, I don't see it just happening with Steam. I see it happening with everybody, Xbox, PlayStation, like, you know, you're just going to lose everything. And like I said, unless there's like some crazy uh, lawsuit uh, court case that fixes that, it, it probably is going to stay this way. But I, can, I, I just don't ever see this going in our favor, uh, especially the way with licenses work. You don't really pay for the game you pay for a license to play the game so i don't know it sucks but <laughs> what can you really do but that's going to be all the gaming news i have for today let me know what you think about xbox putting call of duty on the game pass let me know what you think about valve steam not letting our libraries transfer over to our next of kin or siblings when we die let me know what you think about that it's crazy it's crazy to think about like we really shouldn't be thinking about it if you're young but like, you know, like that's stuff you want to transfer over. But um, let me know if you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you thought it was bad and it sucked. But uh, yeah, let me know. Um, also, I'm trying to keep these videos between seven to ten uh, minutes long. I, I did a, my last video was like 18 minutes long and I thought it was a little bit too long. But uh, just let me know. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Take care.